Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. We're back on Twitter today because just a couple of hours ago, LEC Wulo, our main man for all the latest and greatest EU and LEC roster swaps, rumors, leaks, info, and discussion, uh, just dropped a bomb on us a couple hours ago. He has now tweeted out that according to esports, Mania Maniacos, I can't say that, sorry. Uh, today, Perks is in contact with Fnatic, and Upset is likely with G2. I don't know if that means he's likely to join D2 or if they're, they're just in contact today, but G2 is at least talking to other AD carries, and Perks is at least talking to other teams. This makes it more and more likely that Perks is going to be leaving G2, that he's going to be playing uh, mid lane for some other team and I think you if you're G2 fans you still got to be a little bit excited that even if Perks leaves obviously that would suck that would be awful that you'd at least be potentially getting upset as your AD carry because if there's anyone you want to replace Perks upset's got to be up towards the top of your list but I just thought this news was really really crazy because I think in terms of overall competitiveness and uh, trying to be a good team in 2021 Perks uh, joining Fnatic could be one of obviously it's probably his best option other than G2 um, because Fnatic with Perks in mid lane is a very very sick team um, they would have a jungler and AD carry that, in my opinion, would be better than G2. Um, Self-made could definitely be better than uh, Yankos going into 2021. Uh, and I would say Reckless is better than Upset or Perks. Um, and they have a team that could really rival G2 at that point with Perks in the mid lane if Hillsang is able to stay. Also, if Perks goes to the mid lane for Fnatic, does that convince Hillsang to stay? Or is the money still going to be able to pull him away from Fnatic? That would be interesting to see. Obviously, Fnatic does still have other options in the support role. But uh, just it seems like with each day, with each hour, uh, the news that Perks is going to be leaving becomes more and more real. And a lot of people, uh, I know I have a ton of people in the comments and stuff that's like, oh, Perks would never leave G2. They're never going to get rid of him. He's a franchise player, blah, 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 blah. I get it. They have built around Perks. He's been with the face of the franchise for a while. People leave. LeBron left Cleveland. Michael Jordan left Chicago. Uh, Messi wants to leave Barca right now. Cristiano Ronaldo left Real Madrid. Sometimes teams and players who are the franchise face of a player, sometimes they leave. This is a business. People have different agendas. This Just because Perk started out with G2 and was kind of their face for like five years, at which in the landscape of sports, players leave after like 10 or 15 years. You know, like esports is so new and young and stuff. There's so much money being thrown around, so much stuff happening all the time. And at the end of the day, these are very, very young adults who are just prone to very volatile decisions. That doesn't mean Perks is going to stay on G2 forever. You could even say that it's still likely that Perks is going to stay, and, and I would probably agree. I, I would still would be very surprised if he is to leave, but with each day, it becomes more and more real, and you have to at least be open to the option that Perks leaving G2 is possible. If you still are saying it's impossible, um, I don't know. I completely disagree with you, um, but this is looking more and more likely. Here is the first look at Perks in a Fnatic jersey. Uh, it was a really nice Photoshop job. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting. Also, we have Peter Dunn uh, tweeting about, so today I found out that you can't fly from a uh, Schengen area to the U.S. without a 14-day gap in a different non-UK country. Guess I'm heading to Croatia at some point in the coming weeks. Anyone know any interesting things to do or people to meet up with? Uh, obviously, Perks is Croatian. Peter Dunn is uh, allegedly the new coach of Evil Geniuses. It has been rumored that Evil Geniuses is has either been in contact with Perks or is interested in getting in contact with Perks and that he would hear them out. Um, so this is another guy, you know, just kind of, uh, throwing out some rumors and some craziness and stuff, adding to the fire, um, saying that Evil Geniuses might be in contact with Perks in the near future. But uh, this is pretty crazy. Wulu dropping another bomb on us again. Perks is in contact with Fnatic. Upset is in contact with G2. A move seems more and more likely every day. Uh, I know these relations exist, but I have some very recent info that doesn't entirely match. So again, there's still competing stories. Nothing is official yet. These are all rumors, but this is the latest up-to-date information that we're hearing right now. Perks could be going to Fnatic, Upset could be going to G2, um, and it would make really the LEC and the entire World League of Legends scene um, very crazy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment down below. Do you think Perks is going to stay? Do you think he's gone? What teams are you going to be playing on in 2021? And if you're a G2 fan, are you happy with Upset? Would you rather a, a different AD carry? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe, stay up to date on my latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.